Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we have a new version of Edge to follow, of course, the new version of Google Chrome. And that also means if you are using a Chromium-based browser, you should have a new version of that browser, uh, whatever it is, Brave, Opera, Vivaldi, and so on. And, uh, of course, brings us to a new version, 130 of Edge, fixes the security flaws that we had in the Chromium browser. And uh, if you go into Edge, upper right corner in the three horizontal dots, go down to help and feedback and about Microsoft Edge, you will be moved to version 130.0.2849.46. So what's new in here? Uh, not a lot of front-facing features, but there's a few things that are going to roll out. They're not there yet here, but the settings page will have a new way of having a quick access. So basically what's going to be added is a quick access uh, to the most popular settings that you have in the browser, the ones that people use the most. So it's a controlled rollout once again, meaning that it's not there for me. It's probably not there for a lot of you, but it will be there in the coming weeks. So this is to just simply make Edge easier to use when you want to try to find some of the most uh, used settings, uh, which I think is a good idea because uh, face it, let's face it, look at, look at this on the left side, the amount of things that you have in the settings. And then when you choose one category, you have tons of other things that follow. Uh, you know, it's getting clogged. I think there's way too much uh, happening in Edge. We talked about it over time. Edge was cool when it was released uh, in the Chromium for the first time. It was light. It had just a few little things. And now we're getting into a browser that has so many different features and so many settings that it's a little crazy. So I think that a quick settings page will be very useful in Edge. But at the other end, I think Microsoft, maybe it's time to kind of, you know, strip down Edge a little bit. There's too much stuff in here. So for the rest, of course, is the uh, security flaws that are fixed. So uh, that is also important to uh, handle here to make sure that you stay safe. So you move on to the next version of Edge. Remember that your Chromium browsers are also getting these updates and the updates also for security. So check it out. That's the first and most important way that you stay safe on the internet is by making sure that all the security flaws are fixed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.